Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am so happy to be here today. And next to me, welcome to House of the Virtuous Woman. My name is Serangio. And next to me, I got my sister, Sammy, and she's going to do us the privilege to bring the word. So without further ado, Sammy. <laughs> God bless you, Sister Sandra. Thank you for that. And thank you to all the viewers today that are watching today. And, um, you know, uh, Sister Sarangio, she's very special to me. Um, God bless her in every kind of way. Um, you know, she has uh, touched a very uh, powerful message about hell, um, a revelation from hell. And, you know, it's very, it's a very, very tough subject um, to um, speak about. Not a lot of churches speak about it. Um, because they are afraid of losing members or they're afraid of what the members will say or the numbers and you know the hell should be something that be preached about often um, it is something that the Lord wants his people to know about this place um, he didn't obviously he didn't like she said uh, she didn't the Lord didn't create it for us but it was created for um, Satan and his demons and anyone that acts like him and follows his ways will be heading to that place. Um, it's very important. Another topic that I wanted to um, touch about today is about being set free from the bondage of unforgiveness. And uh, before I start speaking about this, I just want to pray about this um, so that, you know, you can have you know an open ear to hear what the Lord is trying to say today to you and um, but let's start Father God in the name of Jesus Lord God right now Father God I take myself away Father God and I ask that your Holy Spirit may speak today Father God Lord we ask that you reach out to the viewers Father God right now in your name Jesus I ask you this Father God that you enter into those homes right now Lord God and you touch the mind the spirit in the soul of the person that is watching, Father God, today. Father God, maybe someone out there has turned on their TV, Father God, and tuned into Nutmeg TV, Father God. Lord God, we ask that you reach out to that individual right now, Father God, because this is a word from you, Father God. You're trying to say something today, Father God, to the body of Christ and to the, all those viewers, Father God. In Jesus' name, I ask that you open their spiritual eyes through this word, Father God. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. And may the Lord bless you today and always. So being free from the bondage of unforgiveness. Did you know that you can be a prisoner of unforgiveness? Did you know that holding grudges in anger and bitterness can prevent you from being, uh, from being free? from feeling free, from being free. Um, and you know that God wants you to be from free from all bitterness, from all unforgiveness. God's word is so clear to us. And I want to uh, read to you what Matthew 6, 15 tells us today. So it says, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I read to you, but ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Beloved, what this is trying to tell us today is that if you don't forgive those that have harmed you, have caused you pain, maybe someone said something so strong to you that your those words penetrate your mind and and you cannot let it go, and maybe it penetrates through your heart and your soul and it bothers you. Maybe this is something that you've been carrying for years and years and you won't let go. You have become a prisoner of these words. You have become a prisoner of yourself because you won't let this go. See, the, this person that have said something negative to you, maybe someone said, or maybe someone did something wrong to you, but you won't let go. Beloved, Jesus Christ is telling you to let go and let me. Let go and allow me to touch your heart, to cleanse you from this unbitterness. So, you know, God's word is very clear in that. And I want to also read to you Matthew's 18, 
also Matthew 18, if you go there with me today, let's take a little journey about what God is telling us about having unforgiveness in our hearts today or, you know, something you've been caring for so long and, um, and God is trying to speak out to you. God is trying to reach out to you and tell you. And if you open up your word where it says, God, um, chapter 18, verse 21 and 22 says, let's go read um, 21 where it says, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how many times or how shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? So seven times, Jesus says unto him in verse 22, I say not unto thee, unto seven times, but unto seventy-seven times to forgive. So when Jesus spoke that, he was stressing it out unto the people, unto him and to all the others. God is stressing it unto you today, the viewer today. God is trying to tell you forgiveness, forgive as many times as you need to forgive. And he said seven times, seven times. And he spoke that and he stressed that unto the body of Christ and to those that, that are watching today. God wants you to forgive those that have hurted you, caused you pain and hurt. And, and Peter, Peter asked Christ, how many times should I forgive? How many times? And Jesus told him clearly, you have to forgive many times. So with that being said, beloved, God wants you to forgive Forgive those that have caused you pain and harm. And uh, Jesus, like I said, he stressed that. He made that expression to you, to us, because it's very, very critical. This is very important and so critical. And it's dangerous for you not to forgive, to carry this unforgiveness in your hearts, in your lives. Having this and holding this you know, you, you're holding and, and, and holding out the, the blessings that God has for you. Like God has so much blessings that he wants to release to you, but he can't release them to you because you're holding this grudge and you're holding this anger. You're holding this unforgiveness in your heart and you're carrying it over and over and over. You're carrying it through the next year and next year and next year. And you know how many times... You know, every year that comes by, we, we talk to people, we tell people, you know, our resolution for the year, our new year resolution is going to be losing weight or my resolution will be um, getting to be with family more often or whatever it is. Everybody has a resolution every year, but nobody has a resolution. Let's see, you know, I'm going to forgive this person for doing this wrong to me today, this year. I'm going to forgive. How many years are you going to carry that with you until next year and next year? And you know that if you have children and you carry this bitterness and unforgiveness, it's a curse upon your life. It's a curse, it's a bondage that holds uh, of you, it grips onto you. It's this darkness, it's this dark thing that holds on to you. And it doesn't want to let you go. And you don't want to let go because you are so prideful and you want to carry that and you don't, you don't want to move forward and you want to keep it this way. Let me tell you something, beloved. That even though you don't forgive this person that caused you wrong or did you wrong or said whatever it is, the case it is. Let me tell you about that person that did you wrong. That person that did you wrong and said these wrong things to you. They're living their life right now. They're living free. They're careless right now. They're moving forward with their lives. Things is happening to them, new things, new resolution for their year. They keep going forward. But the person that is imprisoned is you. It's yourself. You're holding yourself back from another year. You're holding yourself incarcerated with this grudge this bitterness, 
in your heart. And sometimes maybe you're wondering, why doesn't God move for me? Why isn't God saying anything to me? Why isn't I don't hear the voice of God? You got to turn around. You got you to gotta analyze your life and say, you know what? You need to listen. Maybe you don't, you're not forgiving this person. Maybe there's something holding you back. Maybe you can't hear God. Maybe you don't have that fire like you used to have because something caused you to fall and you're angry about it. Beloved, let go and let God today. God is speaking to your heart today. If you're watching right now, God is speaking to you. God is touching your heart right now. Yes, you, the viewer, God is talking to you today, telling you to forgive, let go, forget them, let go, let them go. You need to release what God has for you, and you only have the power to do that. You have the power and the control to do that. And you can't say that you cannot do it. Let me tell you, beloved, I've been through a lot in my life. I've had, I've had an abusive father that abused me and my siblings since I was a, a baby. Since I was a baby, I've been abused. The moment that I was born, I was neglected by my father. He didn't, he didn't want a little girl. He fought the nurses and... He said he had a boy, he had a boy. No, it was a fight he gave them. My father was, he is a very, uh, you know, um, stubborn man, you know, and he has caused us so much harm and as a child, you know, and, and so much fear, so, so much abuse in our lives. But in that same way, you know, I, I forgave my father. And even though maybe that person that caused you wrong doesn't want to, you know, they don't, um, they deny everything. They, maybe they deny that they did you the wrong and you can't let go because they can't, you know, they continue to deny it. But you know what, beloved? Let them deny it. Let them go. Let them deny it. That's between them and God. God is trying to reach out to you, not to them, to you. And God is saying to you, I need you to forgive because I want to give you the blessings that I have for you. I want to give you that fire again that you had one time. And maybe I want to double it up for you. I want to give you a double anointing, but I can't give you what you want because you won't let go. You won't forgive. You continue to live your life this way over and over and over. And you won't let go. You carry this to your next generation. Let me tell you this. Keeping this unforgiveness, it's a curse for you. You're cursing yourself, not the person that hurted you. You're cursing your own self. You won't let yourself go. You won't set yourself free. When are you going to get upset and angry at yourself and say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to rip this thing off of me. I don't know if you've ever watched that movie, uh, Spider-Man. Do you remember that, that episode when Spider-Man had this black thing uh, on him and he was trying to rip it off and he was trying because it was destroying him. It was killing him and it was destroying him. Beloved, that's how sin is. That is how this sinful unforgiveness is to carry in your heart you're trying to keep it but God doesn't want it on you what you need to do is rip it off you Today, if you are watching, say, Lord God, rip this off of me. Help me. Give me the strength. If you call on your father, your daddy, Jesus, he is there to help you. He is there to guide you. He is there to touch your heart. He is there to deliver you, to heal you from this oppression, this depression that is holding against you. See, the enemy wants you to continue to carry this blackness, this, this unforgiveness. He wants to continue to give you this every year. But God doesn't want you to continue this way. God wants to give you the best of him. He wants to give you a double anointing in your life. 
if you just let go and allow God to move forward. Allow God to move in your life and your family's life. Allow him to cleanse you from this darkness. Rip it off. And today, if you are watching, God is touching your heart. He is finding you right now. And it is not a, um, a coincidence that you're watching this. If you turn down the television, God is speaking to you today. God speaks. He's speaking to you today. Beloved, forgive. Forgive. And I want to tell you that when you forgive, you become free. When you forgive, you become free like a butterfly. When it comes out of that cocoon, it goes through a process and it's stuck in there. And I could imagine the uncomfortableness being stuck in there. But once you release that, Lord, just say it with me, Lord, I forgive this person. Cry out to the Lord right now and speak their name. I forgive this individual for saying this against me. I forgive this person for hurting me. And I set myself loose. I break the bondage of unforgiveness. I break myself from this. And beloved, if you said that today, if you said that today, you are free. And free you are. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you know something? God understands. He knows your pain. He knows your hurt. He knows that you're hurting. Whatever it is, you don't have to tell anybody. Maybe you haven't told anybody around what's going on. Maybe someone's hurting you behind closed doors. I don't know why I'm saying this, but maybe someone is touching you the wrong way. And you don't want to tell anybody about this, and you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do in this situation. I believe that God is telling you that you need to speak up. You need to speak up. But first, you need to forgive because whoever said this to you, whoever did you wrong, remember that the enemy used them to destroy you. The enemy used that very person that you love, that you call your protector, this person that you trusted, the enemy can use anyone. He doesn't care how old you are. He doesn't care how old you are, if you're a male, if you're a female, if you've been good or if you've been bad. He don't care any about that. He will use anyone close to you to hurt you so that you can take it out on them and hate them and curse them. They'll become prisoners. You'll become a prisoner of yourself. Before you enter into God's kingdom, God wants you to forgive. Because he said it, if you don't forgive, I cannot forgive you. If you don't forgive, I cannot forgive you. You will not enter my rest, says the Lord, if you don't forgive. Let go and let God, beloved. If someone is doing you wrong and you need justice, you think that your daddy doesn't see that, God Almighty can see what you're going through. God knows your heart. He knows your pain. In his time, he will do it. He will, he will take care of that. Just pray. Let go. Pray for them. Pray for them because it is the enemy behind them. The Bible, the word of God says that our, our, our fight is not against flesh and, and it's not against blood, but it is against principalities, rulers of the air, demonic forces, demons, beloved, demons. Demons use people. They use those that are close to us to hurt us. Remember, you need to open up your eyes, your spiritual eyes, and look beyond that person that hurted you. You need to look beyond them and be the better person as an adult. Be greater and bigger, and God's blessing will come down to your home, to your household, to your children when you are the bigger person. You know, I have been broken before, like I said. I have been broken before. 
I have been there. I know what you're going through. I've been through a lot of things in life. And I look about Jesus' life. He'd been through it all. He'd been through it. His very own people, his beloved people, people, his own people denied him. His own people sold him for shekels, for money. They sold him. My God Almighty, they sold him. The Bible says that his face was unrecognizable because they beat him so much. They beat him so much they tortured him, a holy man that never caused any harm to anyone. Jesus was holy. He didn't cause any harm to anybody. He came to set people free, he came to love you. And his very own denied him, his very, very own sold him, his very own beat him, spit on him. His face was unrecognizable, the word of God says. Can you imagine that pain? And when he fell to the ground without any strength, you and I both know that we cannot carry that cross. We couldn't carry that cross. We'd be dead. But Jesus Christ did. He carried it until the end. He carried your pain, my pain, your sin, and my sin. And if Jesus Christ was able to forgive his own people, those that hurted him, who are you and am I? Who are we not to be able to forgive? But the Son of God, the Son of God came down from his glory. He came down. He left his glory and his splendor. He left it all so he could come down here to get abused, to spit on for you, for me. If this Son of God is able to do that, left everything for you and I, who are you and me? We can't forgive. We can forgive. I was able to forgive. And when I forgave, I was free. I was free from my own self. I was free from my own bondage, from the enemy's lies. I was free. And I forgave those that hurted me. And Jesus forgave. And so if you want to go to heaven, you must forgive. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. You that word. It was a beautiful word. I was really blessed. Thank you for coming. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Nutmeg, for tuning in. Thank you, Jesus. May God's glory to fill your home. You're hearing the rain, and I know it's, oh, it's beautiful. I, can, I love the rain and the thunder. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs>